tragedy. Police searching for a gunman after a three-year-old little girl was shot and killed at a Tamarack hotel. And we are now hearing from her heartbroken family. And local 10 Samir Nafsi joins us live with how they describe little Diani Cleveland. Samir, just a tragic story here. Stella, it truly is a tragic story. Now, the aunt of three-year-old Diani Cleveland confirming her death to Local 10 tonight. She says she's just going to remember that vibrant young little girl that she loved so much. She says her niece was about a month away from turning four years old. That would have taken place on December 31st. Now, go ahead and take a look at the scene. We're in the 3000 block of West Commercial Boulevard here in Tamarack. You can see a Broward County Sheriff's deputy remains on scene. Zoom in to the hotel door of that extended stay where the fatal shot took place. You can see crime scene tape remains up. We also had a chance to speak to many residents out here who are just heartbroken by the news. A young life gone. I thought with my niece calling, but she always calling auntie, auntie. Connie Haefley is the aunt of Diani Cleveland, the three-year-old girl fatally shot this morning at the extended stay hotel in Tamarack. I'm sick to my stomach right now. I'm just trying to process all this. According to BSO, reports of the shooting first came in around 8.20 this morning. Caller advised that her niece just got shot. Caller says there's blood on the floor from the baby. Haefley, who lives in Orlando, says Brittany, Diani's mother, called her right after the three-year-old was shot. She called me screaming and hollering this morning. All she told me was my niece got shot. And when she woke up, she was on the ground in blood. When paramedics arrived, they pronounced three-year-old Diani dead. We spoke to one resident who described the chaotic scene after hearing the fatal gunshot. The mom, she was screaming, saying, my baby dead, my baby dead. That's all she kept saying. So when I was almost standing out there, they were just standing, they was, they was puzzled. They jumped in this white U-Haul truck. A spokesperson for BSO later confirming they detained two people from this U-Haul located in Lauder Hill in connection to the fatal shooting. My niece was very smart, very intelligent. I loved her so good. She was very sweet. She always was loving. Every time she sees you, she's going to grab you and hug you. Diani's contagious energy noted by residents. She came and hooked my leg. You know, I didn't know this the last time I was going to see the little girl. It remains unclear what transpired in room 206 this morning and led to the death of a little girl. I don't know how this played out because there's so many different stories. I definitely want answers because I'm not, it's just not sitting with me. <clears throat> it's one thing that you Israelites out there need to realize, man, is that no one escapes the Lord's judgment, whether small or great, rich or poor. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that brew well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Aqua. And Shalom to the 144,000. And that's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakak Wadash. You Israelites need to realize that no one escapes the Lord's judgment. Not these heathens, including Esau, Edom, right? And not two thirds of our people, man. Right now in this clip here, you know, you heard what happened to this, this person here, man. Right, they were gunned down. You know, I don't know if it was self-inflicted. I don't know if someone, you know, did it, you know, by accident or whatever, on purpose. You see that? But one thing that we do know is that this little person here, she's gone now, man. You see that? So you Israelites, right? You grown men and grown black women, right? You so-called black Latinos and Native American men and women, you guys need to realize that. Again, no one escapes the Lord judgment. You see? Now, if you're a wicked person, you're not going to understand why the Lord took this person out of here, right? Because you probably don't believe in reincarnation, but there's no telling what this little person here was doing. You see that? You know, a lot of people sat around the table, right? This last was a Wednesday or Thursday, right? Eating abominable foods, right? Giving all praises to, you know, fake white man Jesus. You see? And, you know, 
just based off the article, right? They said that this little girl here was getting ready to celebrate her fourth birthday. You see that, which was, I think, December the 31st. You know, so <clears throat> a lot of you people out there, you guys need to you guys need to wake up, right, and realize that the Lord is bringing down judgment for you Israelites out there, man. And this little girl here, she was not innocent, right, of the Lord's judgment. Let's go ahead and grab that precept, right? Shalak you. This is the book of Job, right? Chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 6, and it reads, It is not thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways. Remember, I pray thee, who have perished being innocent? Or where were the righteous cut off? You see, so, you know, no one, you know, just ups and dies, man. You see that? You know, so when you're hearing about old people, young people, middle-aged people, whether they're men or women, right? Talk about you Israelites. And I like to stick on you Israelites because salvation is for you. You see that? You know, I had some Jake, you know, uh, ask me, you know, why you don't never talk about Esau, Edom? Right? That devil's going into slavery. You see that? According to the Bible. But salvation is for you Israelites. You see that? This is why, you know, men like myself, you know, and, and also a few other brothers, we, we stay on you Israelites, man. You see that? Because again, salvation is for you. Least I pray and repent. You know, now this young person here is he's gone. To a horrific child tragedy, police searching for a government after a three-year-old girl was shot and killed at a Tamarack hotel. And, and it shows you that the love is waxing cold out here, man. Referring to the book of St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. You see that the love is waxing cold out here, so it doesn't matter, right? If the Lord is allowing this to happen to, you know, uh, uh, young people, all right? How much more are you grown Israelites out there, man? Hey, let's keep going here. Now hearing from her heartbroken family. And local 10 Samir and FC joins us live with how they describe little Diani Cleveland. Samir, just a tragic story here. Stella, it truly is a tragic story. Now, the aunt of three-year-old Diani Cleveland confirming her death to Local 10 tonight. She says she's just going to remember that vibrant young little girl that she loved so much. She says her niece was about a month away from turning four years old. That would have taken place on December 31st. Now, go ahead and take a look See at that? the scene. See? So they was getting ready, right, to celebrate, you know, the little gal's birthday. And I'm pretty sure they celebrated Christmas, right, or are in the spirit of celebrating Christmas. Right now they're planning a funeral. See that? And scripture tell you not to worship the way of the heathen, but Jake just does not get that. You know, you got grown ass men out there. Oh, I'm just doing it for the kids, right? Well, hey man, the Lord is bringing down judgment for you wicked Israelites. I mean, it's as plain as that. All right, just because you keep getting away with being wicked, right? Don't think that, you know, matter of fact, let me see here. You can't, you can't think that you can keep being wicked out here, right? And think that, uh, let me see here. And think that you're going to get away with it, man. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. And it reads, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, right? Therefore, the hearts of the son of men is fully set in them to do what? Evil. You see that? It didn't say do good. It says do evil. You see, so people out there that's in this spirit right here, you know, all you got to do is look out your window or drive up down the street. Jake putting up Christmas lights and uh, 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 blow up candy cane dolls. Yeah, man. Right? Fake white man Santa all in their yard. You see? Buying Christmas trees. In the, yes. Right? Going to damn uh, a, a Target buying up toys. Right? Going to Walmart putting uh, your presents on Lairway. Right? You don't think that the Lord don't see you individuals, man. You see that? And you're not going to get away with it. Let's keep going here, man. All right? Verse 12. Do a sinner do evil a hundred times? You see that? And his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord. You see that? A lot of people, they don't fear the Lord, man. Which fear before him. You see? Let's keep going. But it shall not be well with the wicked. You see that? And a lot of you... See, you two-thirds, you guys are wicked, man. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. You see, so 
Again, you know, you, hey, you know, this is a, a, a an example here, man, for you individuals that don't, that don't want to fear the Lord, man, right? You want to sacrifice your kids, right, unto Satan, right? Well, don't be surprised when the Lord bring down judgment for you, you know, for these little people out here, man. We're in the 3000 block of West Commercial Boulevard here in Tamarack. You can see a Broward County Sheriff's deputy remains on scene. Zoom in to the hotel door of that extended stay with a fatal shot to place. You can see crime scene tape remains up. We also had a chance to speak to many residents out here who are just heartbroken by the news. A young life gone. I thought it was my niece calling because she always called it auntie, auntie. Connie Hafley is the aunt of Diani Cleveland, the three-year-old girl fatally shot this morning at the extended stay hotel in Tamar. So you pretty much get it. You know, the young person here was you know, destroyed, man. All right, so, you know, a lot of Jake, you know, they really feel the pain when the Lord do something to their young ones, man. All right, you got people out there, you know, still think that it's the devil that's doing this. It's the Lord that's doing this, man. You see that? Let's go ahead and prove that real quick. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this lesson quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 39. And I'm going to start at, uh, you know what, I start at verse 37 in the Good News Bible. And it reads, uh, you know, GNT, and it reads, the Lord will ask his people. You see that? Let's, let's keep going here. Excuse the, you know. The Lord will ask his people, where are those mighty gods you trusted? You see that? So a lot of you people out there, right, you celebrating fake white man Christmas and fake white man Santa Claus, right, and this damn, uh, this stupid ass holiday that just passed, you're, you're worshiping false idols, man. You see that? Verse 38, you feed them the fat of your sacrifices and offered them wine to drink let them come and help you now let them run to your rescue you see that so when you people out there find yourselves in a very messed up spot right you know because judgment happened to you then this when you want to worship a false god man right and that false god is not going to help you man you see because there's only one god and that is the god of the bible the god of the israelites verse 39 here's the point I and I alone am the most high. No other God is real. You see that? So there is no other God, man. You see? I kill and give life. You see that? So the God of the Bible, he, yes, he does kill and he gives life. I wound and I heal and no one can oppress what I do. You see that? So yeah, man. All right. No one can oppress what the Lord does. You see that? So when it's your time, it is your time, man. Right? And, and you and the Lord gonna keep making and keep making examples for you wicked Israelites out there, getting young and old. You see that? Least style pray and repent and, and come back and worship on the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see? Because hey man, scriptures say this right here. Alright, if you don't want to, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. I'm going to start at verse 30. For we know him that saith, Vengeance belongeth unto me. And who does vengeance belong to? The Lord, man. You see that? I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. And who, who is the Lord's people? You Israelites. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You see that? So, you know, again... All right, if the Lord is handing down judgment for these young people, all right, shouldn't you older people that got some sense, well, Jake doesn't have common sense today, you know, shouldn't you people be fearing the Lord, man, seeking the Lord? You see? You know, so like I say, you know, I'm going to try to keep it quick, right? Let me see if I want to grab something else. Uh, let's grab this here. This is the book. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 5 Evil men understand not judgment But they that seek the Lord Understand all things You see that so if you're evil Right and you're wicked you're not going to understand Why the Lord does what he does You see that but us men that are seeking the Lord We understand why Right the Lord is handing out judgment For you young people and you old people Man No one, No one is exempt no one is exempt from the Lord's judgment, man. Either seek the Lord with in hopes that you'll be despaired, right? Or don't seek the Lord and disregard the prophets, right? And, you know, sit back and wait for your judgment, man. You see? Let's go ahead and read one more and I'm going to close. 
This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8, and it reads, <clears throat> There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. You see that? Neither hath he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. You see that? So when it's your time, all right, it is your time, man. All right, so again, let this be a lesson or an example for you, you know, for you middle-aged, I'll say you Israelites out there, right? No one escapes the Lord's judgment. Until next time, I say, Shalom.